Let's look at how to stream to LinkedIn Live from Wowza Streaming Cloud. A LinkedIn account with access to LinkedIn Live is required, so please contact LinkedIn to request approval for live streaming features. To get started, go to Wowza Streaming Cloud and under Advanced, select Transcoders. Here we'll add a transcoder specifically for LinkedIn Live. Be sure to give it a name you'll recognize in the future. While some accounts allow you to use a pass-through transcoder, Adaptive Bitrate is generally the most used option. You'll also want to be sure billing is pay-as-you-go, the broadcast location is closest to you, and the source delivery method is pushed to Wowza Streaming Cloud. Once those have been changed, add the transcoder. When that's been added, you'll also need to add an output under Outputs and Targets. LinkedIn Live can only accept 1080p under 6,000 kilobits per second, so you may want to simply choose the second option down. Once this rendition has been defined, you can add LinkedIn Live as your stream target. The process uses LinkedIn's API, so all you need is your username and password of the approved account. Once you're logged in, add a memorable target name, then a title and description, which will appear on LinkedIn with your live feed. Be sure once again to add the region closest to you, and once you're done, you'll see this listed as the stream target for the transcoder. Under transcoder setup, you'll find the information needed to connect your encoder. Now this generally needs to be formatted as shown below. You'll also need the stream name as well as the source username and source password. To stream to LinkedIn Live, go under overview and start the transcoder. While this starts the transcoder, you won't have a live stream to LinkedIn until the feed from your encoder is detected. You may want to start the encoder at least 10 seconds in advance of your broadcast as the initial connection for LinkedIn Live is not instantaneous. When your live stream is complete, you'll want to stop from the encoder first to end the broadcast and then from Wowza Streaming Cloud. Again, we advise at least a 10 second gap in this process. To create a new stream, simply select your target. You can edit this target with a new title and description. And then once that's been saved, you can use the transcoder link to return to the overview and start up the transcoder. Once your feed from the encoder is running, LinkedIn Live will detect this as a new feed, creating a new live stream for viewing. That's all you need to get up and running with LinkedIn Live and Wowza Streaming Cloud. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.